repeats itself. Knowing history gathers strength for the future. It is the period when Indus Valley civilization and the Dravidian civilization in the south is at peak and Mauryan Empire were at the power ruling most part of India. Though being the strongest kingdom, Mauryas denied to enter the south. The main three forces that did not allow them to enter are the Chera, Chora and Pandya. The one who overruled the other two and occupied most pages of history are the Cholas. Here I am Sahana GJ with my team Reshan, Nutan, Lakshya, Ishita, Varsha, Maheshwar and Kiran taking you back to the Chola era. The period of Cholas are timeline as the early Cholas, medieval Cholas and later Cholas. Here we have Karikala Chola, the most valiant king of the early Cholas who ruled during the 2nd century BCE at the Tamil Sangam period. He fought and won the battle of Veni against the Pandya, Chera and Lavin valiant kings. Over 2000 years ago, he built Kalanai, the oldest dam, also known as the Grand Anakan, that is still functional today. He will ever be remembered for his valor. Next comes the Dark Age of the Cholas, which was totally netted by the Kalabaras for about 600 years. There are no evidence about the move in this at this time. The one who brought light to the Dark Age of the Cholas is Vijayalaya Chola. The revival of Chola dynasty happened in the 9th century AD with Vijayalaya Chola defeating the Pandya feuditaries, Muttarayas, and capturing Tanjavur. He built the Solishwara temple, the present-day Nartamalaya. He was succeeded by Aditya Chora, the ruler of imperial Cholas, who defeated Pandyas as well as the Pallavas and annexed Kanchi. Parantaka Chora I annexed Madurai to the Chola territory, which was the capital of Pandyas for several years and assumed the title of Madurai Kondan. Here comes the single most intrepid and famous Tamil king of all time, Raja Diraja, Raja Martanda, Raja Vinotha, Uttama Chola, Mumudi Chakravarti, Raja Raja Chola, Para Para Para. He ruled during the 10th century AD with Tanjavur as the capital. Inheriting a smaller kingdom, he converted it into a massive huge empire that included the countries of Pandyas and Cheras and hailed as Mumudi Chora, which means Tree Crowned King. His empire also included northern Sri Lanka and Maldive Island in the Indian Ocean. He also captured kingdoms of today's Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh by defeating the western and eastern Chalukyas. Raja Raja Chora had a great standing army and navy. He constructed the most magnificent Peruvudaya Kovil or the Brihadishwara Temple of Tanjavur that stands tall since for over a thousand years. As like this temple, Raja Raja Chola will stand tall in the hearts and minds of his people for his administrative excellence and marvelous architectures. The most powerful beginning of the entire Chora dynasty is ruled by Rajendra Chora, the son of Raja Raja Chora and Tribhuvanama Devi. Within few years of his accession, he invaded complete Sri Lanka. Rajendra Chora defeated Jaisimha II of the Western Chalukyas and installed his nephew as the king. He then set out an expedition to the north by defeating the kings of Kalinga, Gandabukti, and finally Pala dynasty in a fearful battle. He then took water from the Ganges back to the Chora country as a liquid pillar of victory. From then onwards, he was hailed as Gangai Konda Chorin. He conquered whole part of Sri Lanka and most part of India. Now what? His eyes turned towards the countries in Southeast Asia. In 1025 AD, his forces went across the Indian Ocean and invaded Kadaram, Pannai and many other places of Sri Vijayam, which is today's Malaysia, Indonesia and Thailand. After this victory, Rajendra Chora was hailed as Kadaram Kondal. By monopolizing the trade between the Western world and China, the Chora Empire became the power of maritime trade in the Indian Ocean. 
will always be remembered as the king of sea, land and his people. The most peaceful kingdom of the later Choras is ruled by Kulotanga Chora. He is the first Tamil Telugu Chola king as his mother, the daughter of Rajendra Chora, Amanga Devi, was married to Raja Raja Narendra of Eastern Chalukyas. In an intense war, Vikramaditya of Western Chalukyas was defeated by Kulatanga Chora and chased back to his country. He maintained all the traits and territories that had been captured by his ancestors. He avoided extensive wars and truly worked for the well-being of his people. Kulatanga Chora abolished customs on goods and hence hailed as Sungam Tavirta Chora. He will ever be remembered for his long rule of power, peace and security in the Chola country.